the Heifetz International Music Institute and its Festival of Concerts, more than 50 live concerts in Stanton, Virginia, and daily programs streaming worldwide. Full calendar and information at heifetzinstitute.org. dead giveaway that it is the Junior Division Showcase. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Junior Division Showcase here at the Hypus International Music Institute Festival of Concerts 2022. To those of you who are gathered here in what we call the South Market Stage here um, at the Hypus Institute, as well as those of you who are joining us online via our Facebook and YouTube channels. Um, from Hong Kong, as far away as Hong Kong and as near as Vienna, Virginia and DC, uh, our students come here to the Heifetz Institute Junior Division. This is for our students aged nine to 15, uh, most of whom come here for three week sessions. We do two concurrent three week sessions for our younger students. But we also have about a dozen students who are here with us for all six weeks in the Junior Division. And this program is particularly a showcase for them. Uh, they are here really taking in all of the classes and lessons and communication training and the master classes and the performances that we do here at the Hypus Institute. And they are actually here for all six weeks of our program. Uh, we're in the midst of a wonderful weekend, if a somewhat hot weekend here in Stanton, uh, but some performances I hope that uh, you will find inspiring by our six week students today. I do like to remind you that this is among, during our approximately 50 concerts that we do in the summer, we always take a moment to make sure that we're offering some concerts free of charge. So every Friday afternoon matinee concert, every Saturday afternoon concert that we do here featuring the junior division students are always free of charge. I do have to note, however, uh, as the head of a nonprofit, which is not the same as a pro-loss organization, that donations, there is a tip jar in the back, are greatly appreciated so we can keep doing this. Now let's move on and enjoy our program featuring our students of the Heifetz Institute Junior Division. Thanks so much for joining us today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Lolly Guy. I'm 12 years old and I'm from Hong Kong. Today, my amazing pianist Yadi and I would be playing the first and second movement of Sonata Number no. Four by Handel. This piece isn't filled with a lot of technique, but like any other piece, there's still a clear picture and image in it. In the first movement, I imagine the sun rising in the morning and spreading light to the world or little ducklings hatching out of the egg. In the second movement, I imagine little puppies rolling and running around in the grass, and it's very lively and bright. I'm very thrilled to be able to share this 
peace with you, and I um, and thank you.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Ishwan Lee, and I am 12 years old. I'm from Rockville, Maryland. Today, with my incredible pianist, Yadi, I will be performing Preludium and Allegro by Fritz Kreisler. This piece has two sections. The first section, the Preludium, starts out very strong, and as the piece continues, the music softens and becomes strong again. The second section is very swift and leads to a very dramatic climax, which then builds to a very dramatic closing. I really enjoyed practicing and working on this piece, and I'm thrilled to play this piece for you all. Thank you. 
My name is Katherine Jung, and I'm a 14-year-old violinist from Basking Ridge, New Jersey. So today, Misha and I will be playing the introduction in Tarantella by Sarah Sate. So as the name suggests, this piece has two sections, the introduction and the Tarantella. The introduction is very slow and melodic, and it leads to the fast-paced Tarantella, which is a dance with a sort of odd story behind it. So back in the day, they believed that if you were bitten by a spider, you would get a disease that would cause you to do like insane things, and the only way to cure it would be to keep dancing on and on. And that's how the Tarantella was made. It's very strange, I know. So I hope that today my playing will make you want to get up and dance as well. <laughs> Thank you.
Good afternoon. My name is Brian Sue, and I'm a 13-year-old violinist from Vienna, Virginia. Today, my wonderful pianist, Misha, and I will be performing the original version of La Capanella by Paganini. La Capanella is the final movement of Paganini's concerto in B minor, um, where it fits in with the virtuosity of its fellow movements. I really find La Capanella to have a playful tone which makes the fun really, uh, which makes the piece really fun to learn and perform for you. La Capanella translates to little bells in Italian, um, um, which um, I hope to convey through the grace notes and harmonics of the piece. It really reminds me of a kitchen bell that I used to play with as a child. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Hello everyone, I'm Samuel Chow, I'm 14 years old and I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today, my wonderful pianist Allison and I will be performing the third movement of the Concerto No. 1 in C Major by Franz Joseph Haydn. I, like many other musicians, started learning this piece with the first movement. Haydn's triumphant theme was made especially clear because of the strings of notes or major chords starting the movement. However, when I started the third movement, I was really unsure of how to think about it. Due to technically challenging passages, I initially considered it as a showpiece, maybe one I could show off to friends. However, the more I studied the concerto, the more I began to appreciate Haydn's light and brisk third movement. While the first movement is very royal and so, uh, heavy, the third movement is very light, um, happy, and uh, energetic. I can just imagine Haydn partying after a successful performance. <laughs> although, maybe listen to his own music, although that's probably not historically accurate. I hope we can share this playful and enchanting movement with you all today. Thank you.
Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Owen Wu Park. I'm a 15-year-old cellist, and I live in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, today, Ms. Freeman and I will be playing uh, the seven variations on Mozart's uh, Bay Manum uh, on, from the Magic Flute Opera, written by Beethoven. So this piece was Beethoven's favorite selection out of all the pieces in the Magic Flute Opera, and it was originally sung in a duet with a male and female voice. Uh, one thing to note is that this piece is also a love song, as Bay or as Bay Manor literally translates to "men who feel the call of love." Aside from this, um, I'd like to think that Beethoven uh, used a piano and cello also as a duet and a substitute for the two voices, since cello is also regarded as um, the instrument that most closely resembles that of a human voice. I'd like to think that um, when I play, I am the male voice calling out to the female voice or the pianist. Aside from this, Beethoven also based his seven variations off of an implication or reflection of aspects of his own life. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy.
You know, a lot of ink has been spilled over the years about Beethoven being, I guess what we call today, a, a category leader. His nine symphonies being the best of the symphonic genre, the 16 string quartets, the non plus ultra of string quartets, the non pari of piano sonatas, those 32 by Beethoven. Um, well, I happen to think that his, his ability to write variations is unparalleled. And if you look through Beethoven's uh, career, uh, the number of works that he wrote with variations are just kind of unbelievable and, and so creative and inventive. Um, we have one more piece to play for you today, and it's my moment just to remind you that uh, tonight we have our Heifetz Hootenanny, uh, which will be under the tent with a lot of special guests. We certainly hope to see you there. Our Hootenannies are the time uh, for our students and our staff members and sometimes even faculty to kind of stretch their wings in other musical genres. So you might hear some Broadway, you might hear some bluegrass, you might hear some R&B. In fact, I think you'll hear all three of that tonight. So we do hope that you'll join us. Tomorrow afternoon, our uh, final concert of what's called week four here at the Institute will feature our three concertos in the second half by Mozart, by Schumann, and a rare performance of the William Walton Violin Concerto. And in the first half, music by Bach, by Gershwin, by Saint-Saëns, and a wonderful romance for viola and piano by Rayfon Williams. So that's all coming up at 2 o'clock. And this is my final chance to remind you that, as again I mentioned here earlier, we have a tip jar here for your support of this absolutely free concert. We'll have another junior division concert here next Saturday afternoon. And um, if you're watching us online, you might notice on our YouTube channel that if you look in the upper right, yes, there's a tip jar there too. So you can't get away that easily, all right? Thank you very much for your support and for coming out today and hope to see you at the Hootenanny tonight. Thank you. everyone. My name is Gabriela Salvador Riera, and I'm a 15-year-old violinist from Wilmington, Delaware. Um, today, my wonderful pianist Misha and I will be playing for you the first movement of the Violin Concerto in E minor by Felix Mendelssohn. This piece has helped me grow in my musicality tremendously, and although at first I was overwhelmed with the thought of having to perform a piece that already had so many amazing interpretations, I found my own voice within it when I realized why the piece was so famous in the first place. It's um, a brilliant blend of classical and romantic styles that was unlike anything of its time, and it's still so unique. So it has been quite the journey trying to figure out how to convey how much I love this colorful and delicate yet passionate piece um, through my playing in the least energy draining way possible. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I hope to take you on a colorful journey today as I play my piece. Thank you. Thank you. 
the Heifetz International Music Institute and its Festival of Concerts. More than 50 live concerts in Stanton, Virginia, and daily programs streaming worldwide. Full calendar and information at heifetzinstitute.org.